Long, long ago, when God first made the earth, I'll let both those points slip. We haven't got time. Okay. <laughs> long, long ago, I should just say, um, is 5,000 years, uh, according to the Bible. According to the Old Testament, the earth is no older than 5,000 years, okay? Which puts us around the time of the agricultural revolution. Uh, it's actually 4.6 billion years old. Let's pop that in. <laughs> 4.6 billion years ago, when God first made the earth and sky, all right, don't big it up. I mean, it, it comes as a package, really, doesn't it? You can, <laughs> the sky was never an optional extra. It could be, I built your planet, I can't breathe. Would you like an atmosphere? Of course I fucking would. So, <laughs> everything was peaceful, everything beautiful. God made human beings too. And he wanted them to be good like himself. Arrogant, right. <laughs> But very soon they wanted their own way. They would not listen to God. They became wicked and did wicked things. Look at them doing wicked things there. <laughs> Look at that. You can't get more wicked than that. Re. Oh, fuck off, wicked. <laughs> Re. Fuck off, wicked. <laughs> God looking on. Yeah, carry on. See what happens. See what happens. <laughs> Bloke there running off with a big bag of money. Don't put it in a bank, you cunt. Uh. <laughs> God looked at them and said to himself, they are so wicked, I will have to wipe them off the face of the earth. <laughs> really? That's your only choice, is it? That's your, you'll have to. <laughs> Straight to genocide. <laughs> no one verbal and two written warnings. No, just straight to the annihilation of the entire human race because a fatty yellow trousers has picked someone's nose. <laughs> that's, that's your solution, is it? I mean, anger management, chill the fuck out. <laughs> I read this book to Carl Pilkington, right? Who, yeah, he is an absolute, yes, he is my, yeah. Head like a fucking orange, I know. Um, but, I got to this bit and I said, they are so wicked, I will have to wipe them the face of the earth. And Carl goes, he sounds gay. <laughs> I went, what do you mean? He went, some gays are a bit like that. <sighs> he thought God was having a hissy fit. <laughs> like God's going, look what they've done. No, they're treating me like a cunt. I'm going to treat them like a cunt. I'm not. I said, Carl, God is not gay. <laughs> Read the Bible, he hates them. They are so wicked, I would have to wipe them the face of the earth. And every living thing with them. <laughs> What's the squid ever done? <laughs> In Leviticus, I think it is, they list all the animals that you're, all the punishments for sleeping with them. Like if you lay with a stoat, you'll do this, and if you lay with something, you'll do that, and it killed. And one of them is, if you, if you sleep with a squid, you get smitten in the knees. So if people coming back from the beach like that, you know exactly what they've done. <laughs> anyway, God is not gay. Let's establish that. But there was one man who was still very good. His name was Noah. He was a friend of God. Just a friend, so don't... No. <laughs> Just a friend. A friend with big hooped earrings. Rouge? What the fuck? <laughs> Where'd he get that from? He lives in a cave. What the... What are you doing? Seeing God. <laughs> you never know. Never know. Handlebar moustache. <laughs> holding God's hand. Who's wearing a blouse? <laughs> the old hand going down the leggings. What? But God isn't gay. <laughs> God said to Noah, I am so angry with men. <laughs> you mean men and women? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that I have made my mind up to destroy them all. I have stretched my bow in the sky. It is a rainbow. That's got to be the world's first pun, hasn't it? <laughs> it will make so much rain pour down on Earth that everything will be drowned. <laughs> but not you. <laughs> Politics is the art or science of governing, governing people and governing society. 
What's the best way to live? How do we live in harmony? That's what we're looking for. Democracy is the closest thing we've got to everyone sort of chipping in. But even that's got problems, you know, who gets the vote? Should everyone get the vote, you know? Dangerous question, the political philosopher Nietzsche said that not all people do deserve the vote and that not all men are born equal. This was classically misinterpreted by Hitler, who went way too far with it. And he just, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Imagine that, you're, you're a great scholar, Nietzsche, and you write that, and you get called to Hitler, say, all right, Nietzsche, all right, Adolf? Yeah, yeah, just been reading your book. Do you like it? Brilliant. <laughs> Love all that, love all that. Man and Superman, not everyone's equal, kill all the Jews. Sorry, sorry, what? <laughs> not everyone's equal, kill all the Jews. I didn't, I didn't write that. No, I read between the lines. <laughs> no, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean that. You've totally misinterpreted the whole point of it. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's awful. Ooh. It's dreadful. Have you been, have, have you been killing? Jewish people. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you been killing Jewish people? Oh. How many have you killed? <sighs> How many have I killed? Six minutes. Six million! <laughs> Yeah, all right, don't go on about it. I'm not going to do any more. That's it. <laughs> Leave it at six. Leave it at six. Let's move on. Are you staying for tea anyway? Ooh. Yeah, but be careful in future. I will. Are you writing any other books at the moment? Well, I am, but I'm scared to tell you about them. <laughs> no, I won't do anything. What's your new book called? My new book is called The Gippos. Do we need them? <laughs> Not a traditional subject for comedy, the Holocaust. I'll give you that. Probably why Spielberg didn't put a laughter track on Schindler's List. It would have ruined it. <laughs> I used to uh, think we evolved from apes. Um, Darwin's theory of evolution through natural selection seemed pretty watertight. But in, in doing research for this show, um, I've, I came across a theory um, that deviates from Darwin's, and, uh, and I believe that. It's, I just found it in a dusty old book in a, in a library. It's called The Bible. <laughs> and uh, Darwin was wrong. Um, we didn't evolve, God made us. Um, so I just want to explain to you exactly how that happened. OK. The first book of Moses, commonly called Genesis. Start at the beginning. Um, fairly big book, but... <laughs> <laughs> Friday, innit? So, <laughs> lock the doors. <laughs> OK. Took me four years to get this platform. Now they listen. <laughs> just think if I'd have blown it, just going door to door. Right, OK. Um, some of the things you, you, you're here um, do sound a little bit far-fetched, I admit that. I thought it was a bit, but um, then I found out that the other name for the Bible is the Gospel, so it is all true. <laughs> so, <laughs> luckily, clue is in the title. OK. <laughs> come on, come on, it's the Bible. OK. Chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. It doesn't go into detail. Um, <laughs> He doesn't need to explain to you. You probably understand it, because he's got a massive brain, yours is little, and, he, and you go, what? He goes, don't what? Just trust me. I, I, <laughs> I did. Um, and also, if he ex explained it to you, it would like, ruin the enigma. Do you know what I mean? You'd go, that's amazing. He just said, it's a trick. And you go, oh. So it's like seeing... <laughs> no, it's like David Blaine did something, and you go, oh, that is real magic. And you go, no, I'm just standing on one leg and lifting the other up. <laughs> Easy. So... Keeps his cards very close to his chest, God. Good luck. Good luck to him. He can do what he wants. He can do anything, so he can do what he wants. OK, here we go. In the beginning, God created the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Bit dark, he sorted that out. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Huh? Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> hey? Oh, come on, that's amazing. He just made... He made light up. 
just it was dark. It was nothing before. It's not like he saw some on holiday and went, <laughs> that'll be good back on Earth. He made it up. Do you not? You're. It, he invented. There was no. There was nothing to go by. It wasn't like there was twilight. And he went, let's have that a little bit brighter. He. <laughs> He just went, let there be light, and, there were, and at the speed of light, he didn't go, let there be light. Come on, I'm busy, it's the first day, I've got a lot to do, I've only got seven days, it just... Do you know what I mean? He, and he probably didn't have to say it, he did say it, but he could have gone, mm, that's exactly what I was thinking of, brilliant. <laughs> do you know what I mean? He, Come on, he's amazing, what are you... Free your minds, listen, right, OK. <laughs> so he did the light, invented it. Which means that he created the heaven and the earth in the dark! <laughs> is that? I'd have gone, right, let's have a little bit of light on situation. Let's see what we're doing. Right. <laughs> I need some planets. Um... <laughs> he went, that's everything. Let's have a look. Brilliant. <laughs> and God saw the light and saw that it was good. Even though he says so himself. <laughs> um, well, no, I mean, well it, no, it is good, but... There's pride in your work, then there's arrogance. <laughs>